So, welcome to week 3 of the UGA. This week we, the Charging Charizards, play versus the Stockholm Tremenders with the coach Luther. And yeah, if you didn't see the team building video, highly recommend uh, checking it out. Uh, yeah, I did forget to change the team name to UGA week 3, but yeah, I don't think that that's will matter. Um, let's play gym leader. And yeah, let's see if Luther brings pretty much what I expect him to bring. And hope for the best. And he brings everything I expected but Magnezone over Heliolisk, which is interesting. Okay. Um, the plan here, I think, is leading Charizard and Manectric. So I can potentially nuzzle his Charizard, counter Venusaur, and also counter a Gyarados a little bit. Then I want to bring... what do I want to bring in the back? He has only Gyarados as a physical attacker, so maybe Primarina can do good work. Maybe Primarina Meowstic could be decent. I don't think Neuven is too good here in the back. So yeah, let's go with Primarina. I could bring I could bring Crosser, but I, I really want to bring Crosser in game too. So yeah, I will go with Meowstic to potential late game sweep him with Primarina. Let's see how this goes. I'm a little bit scared of potential assault vest or Lumberry on his um, Gyarados. But well, let's see. I will do the sound a little bit mover. So Gyarados, me and Shao. Okay. That's really scary. Not gonna lie, that's really scary. It's also Moxie Gyarados. Hmm. I should take any hit of the from the Gyarados as long as it's not live or um, I think I can just maybe go for Max Airstream into me and Shao and protect with me and Sh protect with Manectric. I think that's a decent play. Yeah, let's go for it. Because he could fake out. Uh, I could double protect with both to cover potential Max Rock from Gyarados, but I'm a little bit scared of him going for Max Airstream into Nectric, which is a little bit unlikely, but I still go for this play. And let's see how it works. Okay, Gyarados Maxes. Which is fine, I think. There's the uh, Dynamax Gyarados. Let's see, let's see what he wants to do. I expect him to go for Fake Out into Manectric and then do some attack like Max Geyser or Max Rockfall into Charizard. Oh, let's see. I expect Sash right, right now, right here. Yeah, Sash on Mirchow. Nothing too crazy. And now let's see what the Gyarados wants to go for. Max Airstream. Okay, so it was the right choice to do this. Um, now it's a little bit tricky because it's a speed tie between Minectric and me and Shao. But what I, what I will do is Max is streaming the Min Shao and I will go for Thunderbolt into the Gyarados, I think. Or I could go for Thunder Wave. No, I, I can also go for Thunder Wave mid with my with my other one in the back. But I could also go for Wildfire. 
No, I rather go for this because I want to maintain speed control. Mm, okay, oh, helping hand. Okay, so Charizard most likely will go down. <sighs> Big damage. What? That was not a crit. Okay, so it's not a V Gyarados, which is really good to know. But now I wish I would have gone for the Max Wildfire. I did not expect it, my manager to do that much damage to Gyarados. Holy, that was way too much damage for him to deal with. Yeah, we will lose Charizard here, but that should be fine. Let's see, maybe he's life up. No life up, no weakness, no AV. Hmm. So I think he is Lumberry then. I would, ex I would assume at least. Um, what do we bring in now? I mean, he could bring in his venue, so I guess. He also could bring in his own Charizard, which would be pretty weak right now. Hmm. I think, I think Mianchao is the better option overall. And then have Primarina later on. Yeah, I think that's the right choice, because if he brings in Venus or Primarina is, is a little bit weak. Yeah, yeah, good call. And now it comes in very, very good that our Mian Shou is faster than Venus or since I evaded it to be faster than max speed Venus or And now I think Gyarados is very likely to protect. At least I expect it to protect. I do expect protect and potential Max Geyser into Mian Shao. But I think even if he protects, he has to go into Vol into Manectric and then Aquajet should be able to get Gyarados next turn. So yeah, I will attack him, in case he does not protect, which he doesn't, okay, so good play overall, because he could have very well gone for an attack into my Mian Shao with Gyarados, which would be really bad. Let's see how much does Psychic do, okay, around about 70%, Sleep Powder, okay, now I think we should be fine, because if he has a uh, fireman in the back, I can just rain dance and run like that. Yeah, that's the taco. That's really good for us. Because now I can just go for the rain dance. And I guess try to protect. It does not matter that much what I do with this time with Nectric since I guaranteed to sleep. But yeah, Randance comes in very big here. And with Primarina in the back, Torkoal is not threatening at all. And okay, when you saw just goes for sleep powder, which is fine. So either he has three attacks and sleep powder or he just does not have protect. So maybe he can have protect and two attack moves and sleep order, or he has uh, protect but then he does not have max crack most likely. So either is really really good for us and also that Torkoal has Yawn is very very valuable information for us overall. And I think I will just underwave the venue saw since attacking Torkoal is pretty pointless. It will drop to a, to a Lick to Hyper Voice. And with Thunder Wave, I would outspeed Venusaur so with my Primarina next turn. Body press as well on Torkoal, so a weather defensive set. And yeah. It, as long as we don't take too many sleep turns, we should be fine, I think. Three from three sleep turns on Manectric and two out of three on Yasek, so very like very very lucky on his end. 
not gonna lie, getting 5 out of 6 sleep turns so far and hitting both sleep powders really helped him, but um, I think in the end it does not matter since now Primarina can just come in and we can go for Psychic into Venusaur and Hyper Voice which should seal up this game, I think. I think there's no way for him to counteract that. I mean, I could go for Hydro Cannon, but I, I, I think in the rain we should KO Torko with Hyper Voice. And we get 6 out of 6 deep turns, which is super, super bad. But we now know that Venusaur has Energy Ball. Let's see, I hope we KO Venusaur here. No. So. There is a chance that he still wins this if he hits Sleep Ball next time because we will guaranteed live the the energy ball even with a crit because of our assault present he's not live up. He goes for sleep ball. He hits the third one, so maybe he's white lands. And now we just have to hope that he just don't get another three turn sleep. Holy that's so annoying. I mean, I could have gone for Aqua, for Aqua Jet, but I don't think it would have been enough. And if he lives that, and then he sleeps, it's really bad because then we did not even take a sleep turn. I think Hyper Voice should be enough from this range because it's no single target, even without the rain. Let's see how much Energy Ball does. Under half. So, as long as we wake up next time, we are fine. So, please, please. Please, Primarina, please wake up. If not, this is just so much garbage. I mean... Come on, wake up. Okay, nice, okay. I mean, hitting three sleep powders and then getting three from three out of three sleep turns three times in a row. That would have been nearly as sexy as uh, game one, week one. And yeah, that was really scary in the end. Way more scary than it needed to be. So let's let's think, what can we do game 2? The original plan was just leading Primarina Crosser. And I think I will stick to that. I think that that is still fine. Because maybe he, maybe he will change up his lead. Which could be possible but we are up one game and if he leads poorly into this he will just get wrecked and then in the back we bring Charizard for sure because Charizard can be really good late game and then it's between Meowstic and Manectric and I think let's, let's see hmm. I mean Meowstic is a little bit better for the rain dance option for the pranks rain, rain dance and for especially for the for the uh, thunder wave speed control, but Manette trick hits Gyarados a little bit harder, and without Crossel, we do not have pretty much anything for Gyarados if we don't bring Manette trick. So. Yeah, I think Manectric should be a good option. Yeah, let's just try it. Let's just try it. If this does not work out, we can al always go back to the game one plan. Uh, because it went pretty well even with the hex on his end. So, yeah, that's a good backup plan. But let's see. Maybe he does not expect this lead. He leads the same lead, okay, it's fine for me. And let's see, what does he fake out? I mean I will definitely go for Aqua Jet into my own crossel and go for Max Rockfall I guess into the Gyarados. Yeah, I will do that. Because maybe he fakes out Crossel 
because he expects me to have um, Shell Smash. And if he takes a crossel, he just will get dunked by my uh, weakness for his crossel. And I think we should live any hit he goes for. Even Max Geyser because it's not live off and cross is fairly bulky on the physical side. Yeah, let's see. I'm really hyped to bring Crossel to this week. Look at him, look at him. He's just so so cool. He's just so cool. He's just chilling under this huge rock. Let's see. White God! Okay, he's he's he will get ju just get destroyed. Because this Oko is even at plus one only. So uh, with Intimidate it would still Oko. Uh, but now it will definitely Oko him. Because he's not uh, he's not Intimidate and he's not Focus Sash either. So I think Krasse will just sweep him now. No Charty Bear either. So yeah, I think <laughs> I think Krasse will do it. Krasse, <laughs> Krasse will go. Crossing will go through. Uh, I think he expected me to go for Rockside Hyper Voice or something like that. I, I just think he did not expect me to do this. But yeah, that's exactly why I drafted Crosser for this combination. <laughs> I think it's just so funny. I did some kikes while drafting, and uh, it's really disgusting how much damage Crosser can do. And there's the Magnezone. But I think it's a little bit too late for it to do something because now I can just. I think I can just switch him electric. Although I think he will go for the steam move into Crossel, but it does not matter to, for me. I will still just go for, for a switch to cover for an electric type attack and go for max. Quake into the Mian Shao, I think, because I do not want to take a high jump kick at minus one defense. And he just cancels. He just cancels the battle. Um, Luda, please do not do this again because it's now it's just really bad for the document because now it's really hard to say um, which one would have got the the other kills. I think Crosser would have gone all four kills. But yeah. <laughs> Crosser is just too strong. And yeah I, I will um I will just add a little bit game or a little bit black screen at, at the end of the video to prevent spoilers. And yeah <laughs> really fast set this week again. And yeah I, I did not expect it to go this way. But yeah, I I just think uh, Crosser crushed him in the end. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching, and as always, feel free to give any sort of feedback and feel free to like and subscribe. And yeah, next week we play versus Funky and the Bavarian Landerus, and this is a super scary matchup. It's the f uh, it's a German battle <laughs> because we are both German guys. Um, so it's very hyped for that reason, but also he has a super scary team and I think he's 3-0 at the moment again, uh, as well. And yeah, he just has the Terrakia and Dragapult and other stuff, it's really scary, but I'm, I'm really hyped to build for it and to play him. And yeah, um, I would be, I would be very happy if uh, you guys would watch next week as well and yeah thanks for watching please leave like share subscribe and stuff like that and yeah see you see you soon goodbye and have a good day